Hi guys, Larry Feldman with a lesson on compositions of functions. Compositions of functions um, can be a little bit confusing at first for many students, but with this video I hope to show you that they're actually pretty easy. Um, let's start with an example, um, because this is very difficult to explain in theory. Um, I find that examples are, are really the best way to go. f of x equals 2x plus 4. So I'm just making up a function. And let's go with g of x equals x squared. Now, um, if we want to find a composition of these two functions, it's typically written in two ways. Either f uh, open circle g, it looks like fog, oh, it's actually, this is not an O, it's actually an open circle uh, that's a little bit higher uh, than an O, but it, it looks a lot like an O. So um, that is equivalent to f of g of x. So what does this mean? Well, the best way to solve these problems is inside out uh, by using substitution. So first, I said inside out, but um, I should have mentioned that we want to write the, fir the f first. Then Instead of g of x, we want to write what it's equivalent to. So now we have x squared. So we're really finding f of x squared in this case, just by substitution. Now we come back up to our definition of f of x. f of x equals 2x plus 4. That means that wherever there's an x, we need to replace it with this x squared right here. So we write the 2, and instead of an x, we have to replace it with x squared. And then, of course, we need the plus 4. So this is equivalent to f of g of x. Now, let's do g of f of x. Typically, f of g of x is not the same as g of f of x. There are some cases where this is true, but in general, don't expect them to be the same. So here we have a g of f of x, and again, we want to write the g, and then wherever there's an f of x, we want to replace it with whatever f of x is equal to. So we have g of 2x plus 4. Okay, now we go up here and we write g of 2x plus 4 equals wherever there's an x, here and here, we're going to replace it with 2x plus 4. So we have 2x plus 4 quantity squared. And that's the answer. Okay, so Let's uh, take this another step, clear the screen, and let's say I asked you or you were asked to find f of g of 2. Now, there are two main ways of doing this. One, actually let me just go back up here and remind you and remind myself what the functions were equal to. f of x was 2x plus 4 and g of x was x squared. And if I'm trying to find f of g of 2, the first way, and actually the way that I recommend, is to find g of 2 first. g of 2 equals 2 squared. Wherever there's an x, I have to replace it with the 2. So I put a 2 here and a 2 here. g of 2 equals 2 squared which is 4. Then I go back to what we're originally trying to find, which is f of g of 2. And again, by substitution, this is now f of whatever g of 2 is equivalent to, which is 4. So I'm trying to find f of 4. Now I go back up here, and I'm trying to find f of 4. So f of 4 is simply 2 times 4, 
I sub in this 4 wherever there's an x. So it's 2 times 4 plus 4, which is 8 plus 4, or 12. OK, the second way is a little bit slower, but it does have an advantage in that it, it can be more versatile if you're asked to find um, f of g of x at, at a lot of different x values. And it involves going back to what we did at the beginning of the video. You find f of g of x, which is, just to, refer, just to refresh our memories, f of g of x is f of x squared, which is 2 times x squared plus 4. Now from here, I can find f of g of 2, or f of g evaluated, evaluated at any x value, but f of g of 2 means that I sub in a 2 everywhere there's an x. So I have, I write the initial 2 coefficient, then I sub in the 2, which is the x value, I square it, and then I add 4. And if I evaluate this, I get 2 times 2 squared, which is 4, plus 4, which is 12. So we get the same answer, not a surprise, but if I were you and I was taking a quiz or a test and they simply asked for something like this and the problem didn't go on to multiple parts, I would do it, I would use method one. Okay, let's uh, clear the screen and do another example. Now we're going to have three functions. Let's say f of x equals the square root of x minus 4. Uh, g of x equals 2x, and h of x equals x cubed. And let's assume that we are asked to find f of g of h of x, which might look like a nightmare, but I hope to uh, clarify things quickly. And theoretically, we can have as many functions as we want, it nested in here and um, the best solution is to work inside out as I mentioned earlier so um, let's first write the f and g and instead of h of x we're going to write what it's equivalent to which is x cubed so now the problem boils down to f of g of x cubed now we look at g of x cubed and we write the f, which is the exception to the rule that I was saying work inside out. We do have to write the letters, but instead of g of x cubed, we are going to write what g of x cubed is equivalent to. So let's sub in an x cubed everywhere there's an x. So g of x cubed is 2, that's this 2, times x cubed. Now, notice how the problem is getting simpler. Now we're trying to, f, trying to find f of 2x cubed. So we go to this function. And f of 2x cubed is found by subbing in 2x cubed everywhere there's an x, namely here and here. So we have the square root. And instead of x, we replace it with 2x cubed minus four. Okay, so let's build on, build on this example a little bit. And I, I cleared the screen, but I, I shouldn't have cleared the entire screen. So let me just rewrite f of x, g of x, and h of x. x minus four, g of x is two x, and h of x is x cubed. And let's assume that we were asked to find f of g of h of 3. And we solve this. We already solved f of g of h of x. So we can use that result that we found previously, which was root 2x cubed minus 4. But instead of x cubed, we're going to use 
3 cubed because x is now 3. 2x cubed minus 4, which is root 2 times 27, 3 cubed is 27, minus 4, which is root 54 minus 4, which is root 50. And let's keep going. Let's simplify this as much as possible. Root, uh, root 50 is root 25 times root 2, which is 5 root 2. And uh, the other way to solve this is to find h of 3, which is simply uh, found by subbing in 3 for x. So h of 3 is 3 cubed, which is 27. Then we need to find g of h cubed, working inside out, as I mentioned. So this is g of 27 by substitution. g of 27 is found Actually, this should have been an x. Sorry about that. g of 27 is 2 times 27, which is 54. And lastly, f of g of 27 is f, what the hell was that? f of 54, which is, going back up to here, root 54 minus 4, which is root 50, and as we already demonstrated, this is 5 root 2. So you get the same answer, not, not surprisingly. Okay, that's it for now. I hope that was helpful. Please check out www.lfeldman.com for links to my mobile apps, which cover examples, tutorials, and solvers from algebra through calculus, and there's certainly a section on compositions of functions in... Um, my apps Algebra Pro and Math Pro. And see you next time. Thanks.